Oh, Fudge forgot to ask, what's happening with Guard Dog? Hi. Hi, James. Um, <laughs> if, um, hold on. First, hello to Kit Kat. Hello to Saren. Hello to Emily. Hello to James. Hello to anyone else who hasn't said hi. Hello, Allison. Welcome. Um, how many of you know the comic Mutts? Let me see. Hi, Scruffy. You don't think so? It's a pretty amazing strip. It's been around... God, I don't even know how long. Let me... How long has Mutt's comic been published? Since it's, wow, it appeared in 1994. Wow. 94. Okay. So there is a character that's been in the comic. There's, there's several like main casts. It's in the newspaper online. You can find it, um, on Facebook, you can find it, or on that link that I just shared. Um, and it just follows a couple of different critters. Um, a cat and a dog, mostly. Um, let me see if I can... And, like, their owners and just, you know, various characters here and there. Um, let me... Hold on. Uh... Um, and there has always been, well, I actually don't know when Guard Dog was introduced. That, that is what he is known as. Like, that's his name. Um, and he, oh, okay. Why is this? thing man um he has been unfortunately like tethered to a chain his entire time in the comic um and one of the things that the creator of the comic has said is that he wouldn't um wrap up the series without freeing guard dog and lately, lately there's been a storyline with Guard Dog. And in, you know, true, why can't I get, there we go. I'm like, why can't I get the window capture to work? There we go. Um, in true, you know, how it unfortunately is for a lot of these dogs, his owner, if you can call him that, is moving and has left him. Um, yeah, really freaking heartbreaking. Can we zoom in? Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oops. Um, and so each day, you know, the story is progressing, but it's, you know, I mean, it's what happened with Artemis, I think. It's what happened with, you know, a lot of animals, unfortunately. Um, where they're just kind of 
forgotten or left behind. Um, but don't feel bad for Guard Dog because he has a bestie. He has a little bestie called Doozy. And Doozy is this little girl who is me. Hold on, where's the, um, here we go. Doozy is me. And she loves Guard Dog and Guard Dog loves her. It was like an accidental friendship and she sneaks into his yard all the time and visits him and all of this other stuff. Um, so it's really sweet. And so the, the fan theory is that um, Doozy is going to rescue Guard Dog and he's going to become her dog. The only issue, and this is deeply upsetting right so on the 9th okay on the 9th she says I'm going away for a while to visit my Nana how long is a while I'll be back before you know it right how long is a while and then like a few days later all of this happens where he's like left behind so james to answer your question this was today's strip guard dog says i can't believe he moved and he left me behind but hey what's going to stop me from following him and he tries to run but the chain stops him and he says oh yeah that Stories screwing me up real bad. Real freaking bad. <laughs> um, this is heartbreaking. I mean, right? Yeah, but this is the thing, and this is what I really, really love about. Nope. <laughs> this is what I love about this comic, right? Is that. Oops. Hold on. Guard dog is trying to change the perception of dogs like him. So be appeared almost right after the comic was introduced and he's a chain dog longing for freedom. Played a, he's played an important role in raising awareness about the cruelty of tethering and has inspired countless readers to adopt or become involved in animal welfare. Um, so like, oops. Goodness, I can't grab the right window. Um, so Guard Dog has actually played a pretty important role in like, you know, just, I guess Artemis is pooping, um, in the rescue world. And I appreciate that that aspect of it and that you know there's I guess like a voice for these animals you know because like so many are I'm a big baby and can't handle a cartoon dog being hurt no no no, I can't either it's okay it's all right um let me hold on <laughs> so the story is normally right like guard dog is one of the side characters but it's mooch and earl and like you can you can see on this website here if anyone wants to look um while i go pick up cat poop um you can click on like a character's name if like there's a character that you want to over here like if you want to see you know comics with mooch or if you want to see ones with doozy um <laughs> oh my god Checker treat. Mooch gives them a, it's a dog treat. Anyway, Mutz is a super cute comic. It's been one of my favorites forever um, because it's all about animals and I love animals. It's not normally like a sad tugging at your heart. They do a lot of like 
stuff with rescue though which i really appreciate like the the two main characters are rescues and it's just for like a time when rescue wasn't super talked about to me it's just really cool that it's always been like a focus um so yeah the where james is both of us have been act <laughs> just anxiously waiting for the next episode of the guard dog story because like no okay let me go pick up cat poop i'll be right back we'll play some words on stream sorry i know that we just started but such is life um i'll be right back You know, I would really, I'd be really interested to be one of my neighbors. I'm just gonna say it. Um, because we have so many animals right now all over and I can't go out the breezeway with the poop because that's where Gandalf is. I could go out the front door but if I go out the back door, then Fluffy Cat appears. <laughs> so what do I do? Because <laughs> we've been taking Patch out to use the bathroom in the front yard. Because, again, all of the cats all over my house and yard. I open the window in my office. Chuck the poop. The, the bag <laughs> into the pooper scooper that's now in the front yard. <laughs> but I'm just picturing like if one of my neighbors <laughs> is like watching me, they're gonna be like, what just happened? What just like, who, what? <laughs> so, you know. Chuck it out the window, go wash my hands, and now we're here. All right. James, um, you're driving, are you not? What just happened is a stroke of genius. It's something. 
I mean, it's something. Let me open up my pattern. I haven't put this camera on just because I need to move it still. Okay. Super flawless movement, okay? I tried I tried to put the fluffy cat camera back where the camera used to be but that doesn't seem to be working so we'll just do this see because I was gonna have like how I used to, where it was like multiple cameras that I could pull from, but I guess we can just like fluffy cat if the camera will work. Isn't that the real question? Does this need to hold on? There we go. Okay. So I've got, figured we'll do some cross stitch today. And then we can get back into some more crochet things. That camera's not working of course, but that one is. That's, that's snuggly little minx right there. He's in his little heated bed. Yeah, cozy guy. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? live message that my husband never reads what sweater what are you talking about jeez Oh good, I was just about to call you. Hi, what's up? Hi, uh, my, the one that you brought in, uh, the the cable sweater. But what is, what are you talking about? When was I gonna do that? I don't know, I'm just saying, maybe, uh, you guys can just do a button. Uh huh. Were you looking at my desk? I wasn't. Hmm. I no, I was. 
was just wondering how you knew that I was going to be surprising you today by by sewing your sweaters but like la oh my god you're such a jerk last last stream um hi sister coyote last last stream i went ahead and i did all of the counting you were sleeping because you had work and i did all of like the counting to line up all the buttonholes like the buttons with the buttonholes and i pinned everything and it was sitting on my desk and so i just figured that when you came in to feed her or something you saw it sitting on my desk or maybe you actually read my going live notification in Discord where I said what I was doing because you weren't home so I could surprise you. Oh. <laughs> and then you come into chat. The reason that my I wasn't on the dual camera screen was because the sweater was sitting on my desk and I could <laughs> So I had to move it out of the way before I could go to this camera. I'm sorry, I was just being cheeky. Uh huh. What? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Here, I don't look at it now because you're driving. You're welcome to come back to stream now, I guess, since but don't don't be talking or I'll ban you. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> anyway, um Artemis has been taking very good care of it for you, just so you know. Huh? Yeah, she's been lying down on it. All right. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. Boop. Men, can you believe men? Ew. He did ruin his own surprise. Because he was being cheeky and I thought he might have been, but then Emily was like, you did say buttons in the going live thing. And I'm like, oh, shoot. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. Here's the thing. He was gifted this sweater like six times now. He was given like a sleeve one Christmas. And then he was like for his birthday, he got like another part of it. And then, so like, he's already been given it. One of your messages didn't go through. I don't see anything in the auto mod. You can message it to me if you want. I can see if there's a reason that it's not going through, but that's weird. I complain about men. Uh, thanks for the lurk, uh, Coyote and Calliope. I appreciate it. Shows up on your end, but not in stream. I wonder if there, I mean, I don't have a lot of words blocked, but what word would be blocked? I don't even know. Anyway. Stinky surprise ruiner. Um, I'll have you know, I was pretty proud. I did get the spacing right. So... 
I lined up the first, um, I lined up the first buttonhole and counted. And then, thank you. For the other ones, um, it was based, okay. You know what I freaking hate with portrait mode? Why did it focus? It focused on her back, not her face. Ma'am. Can you look at me? Thank you. Just so it blurs out the computer a little bit in the background. Hey, Georgina. It's good to see you. That's dad and I'm, I'm his favorite. So it needs more, yeah, it needs more fur. It doesn't have enough on it. Anywho. Um, so yeah, I lined up the first button and then after that, I just like lined up all the buttonholes and I like pinned everything approximately where it should be. And then I went ahead and I counted, which is oodles of fun. Counting rows on both sides to make sure that everything was lined up perfectly. And there was only one that wasn't. And it was the very top one where it kind of gets like a little bit weird anyway. So I wasn't too upset that that was the only one that wasn't like spot on. I was like, excuse me, ma'am, why is this camera? It says that it's working, but it's not. Hi, can you? Now we can keep an eye out for fluffy cat. Anywho. Um, so I went ahead and I put little um, stitch markers. And I made sure that it was the same number of stitches from the edge. So all the buttons will be in a line. Because the worst part about putting on buttons is if it ends up like one is off to the, oh god i hate that so top of the button is that funky area that took her oh my god it does figure that that part would co continue to just be an issue that that sweater this sweater so what i love about her she just loves yarn like anything that is that is like plush like this is, this is thick, right? So when I worked on the hats earlier on stream and then I put them on the desk when I was done, she was like, oh, this is the perfect size for me to lie down on. She's got, she has blankets there. She has one on that desk. She's got them everywhere, but it's, Ma'am. Hello, Stinker. If I put your blanket on my lap, would that be acceptable? How about cozy arty blanket? On mama lap? It is such a cat move to lay on the sweater that, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the best part is this face. The, I dare you to tell me to move.
Love snuggling with yarn too. Or else they sell steals the one you're working on. Yeah. Animals are fun. It's fine. You guys can kind of partially see what I'm doing. Anyway, the plan today is, I know that the title of the stream says surprise. Well, this is the surprise, so surprise, James. Um, and then mermaid cross stitch, which is what I pulled out in a panic. Um, so we will be working on the mermaid cross stitch today as well if you were like oh yay I'm so excited to see that and then we pulled this out don't worry god damn it James <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things okay <laughs> wait why didn't I hear that hello oh okay that plays You heard it. Okay. Thanks for the bits, I guess. Looks like such a beautiful sweater. <laughs> you mean you can't tell? <laughs> um... It is. It was also a terrible sweater. Um, this was a Vogue pattern. And it was one of these, it said that it was, what did it even say? Was it supposed to be like intermediate or was it supposed to be, I think that it said it was like beginner or it might have been like confident beginner, right? Oh, why is it? Okay, I don't know why it was there. Random. Um, this is. I think he's think it's at intermediate. Um, this is a sweater. Um, and why? Why is everything? on my stream so broken there oh, okay anywho um let's see here does it say clarity rating 3.3 .3. I need to vote on that um average difficulty so the thing was that looking at it it was not supposed to be difficult. It was knits, pearls, and cables. Cables were supposed to be the hardest thing because I've never done cables. Cables were not the hardest thing because this pattern, okay, this whole thing, how many pages, if you don't know, how many pages do you think this pattern should be written in? Right, like with pictures and explanations and things like, like what, what would you guys, Especially if you are a pattern creator, like, what would you think? <laughs> 20 to 30? That's how I would write it. <laughs> That's for sure. I would definitely write it with a whole lot of pictures and instructions. It was one page. One page. Oops, I'm closing the wrong thing. Yeah. To be fair, I, I, I do have to speak, you know, I have to give them this. There was a second page. 
the second page had that brilliant um, assembly that I showed you the other day. I copied and pasted in chat. Here, I don't even care. This, it's a paid pattern, but this isn't giving away anything. Um, this, this right here was the second page. So, so it said finishing and then it had this. Like I won't give it because it is a paid pattern. I'm not going to show you the pattern, although good luck figuring it out. But like this, these sorts of things are all like, that's just, that's not anything. I'm giving away any information. Thanks. I hate it. Yeah. It was a two column thing. Um, it w does say it was an intermediate level, but here was the main issue, right? Most patterns are going to have a glossary or a list of terms, a list of what certain abbreviations mean. No. So when it has, <laughs> when it did this, oops, I have too many windows open. I always do. This was like the first sentence in part of the pattern for the short row wrapping. So if you didn't know that that meant with yarn in back. Good luck. I had to Google so many things and then so many things, like there were shorthand things that could have meant multiple things, like could have been a different, it could be this, it could be that. Um, it was honestly, this was a community effort it was thanks to Georgina did a lot of Googling with me and my late friend Kit, who was an incredibly gifted knitter um, and, and uh, weaver and spinner, like she, she made her own yarn and then like made beautiful stuff with it. It was, I would not have finished any of this if it wasn't for like a whole lot of us getting together and being like, what the hell does this mean? It was a whole village. <laughs> it doesn't even look like words. <laughs> it, oh. and it was one of these things where like, it was not a intermediate pattern because it was difficult. It was an intermediate pattern because there was no explanation to like what anything meant um and there was no there were no pictures um they also there was no um explanation that your rows weren't going to quite line up so this is one of my least favorite things luckily the collar covers it so it doesn't upset James at all it upsets me um you would think you would think with a cable knit pattern that the front and the back would figure out or would figure out I'm reading figuring out would match up the ADHD didn't let me multitask right there right you would figure that they would line up right that the cable on the front would line up with the cable on the back So that, that's where the front and the back meet. And that is how it is supposed to look. That is how it was written. Ok. 
because I thought I must have done something wrong. Nope. Again, luckily the collar, the collar covers it, so. <laughs> oh, this, so this honestly became the sweater from hell. Like it was, I don't even know. I wonder if Ravelry keeps track of like when you purchase patterns, probably, right? I would think so because the first year that like I purchased it I didn't really work on it because James had James had picked it up um I was I don't even remember what I was looking for but I was like you can get you can pick a pattern to oh fluffy cat hi baby oh baby Um, there was something that I wanted to purchase and I was like, you can take a look too, see if there's anything that you want. So I purchased this in 2019. We ended up getting the yarn because it was purchased in like December, according to Ravelry. So that, that's, you know, December we went to a Seymour. This yarn is, is a Seymour. They don't make it anymore. And we picked up a bunch James, it was cute. James kept picking like all the wrong like weights. And I was like, I love you, but this is, this size won't work. Oh, 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 tummy floof time. Um, so I was able to like steer him in a direction and I was like these style and he picked this yarn. And then I started working on it here and there. Um, and like I said, he kind of has gotten like, little little bits of the sweater one one year for Christmas because he was like I want it for Christmas he picked it like at the beginning of December I'm like that's not happening it's knit that's not like if it was crocheted maybe it's knit it's not happening um but I was like you know you'll get it for Christmas it just we never specified what year okay we never specified what year so it became a joke that I would like give him a little bit for Christmas or bur like he he got it though like finished for his birthday um the only thing that was needed was buttons and I wanted him to pick them out so we got buttons for his birthday which was in October um and now it then, then all of the brown thread that I had was the wrong color um it doesn't look so bad here, but like, this was really, really light here maybe. Even that doesn't look bad. Um, so then we had to go and get um, our thread. So it's just been like, wish I could sit on the porch with them. Yeah. Come, come sit with them, come sit with me. What are you, wait, what are you binding off, Saren? Heck yeah. Georgina, if I remember right, it lined up with like in the medium. Cause I think that I made the small. Like I thought that this was the small. Maybe I'm just not remembering right, but. This has been the sweater from hell. Oh, you're lovey! That's awesome. I hope you'll share a picture when it's all done. Are you kidding me? Not this not being stupid. 
Now we can wear it on Christmas, yeah. How it matched in one size and the rest was guesswork. Yeah, I can't remember now either because James normally wears a small, so unless I had sized it up, which I could have. Size for small, medium, large, extra large as shown. And shown in size small. I don't know. But yeah. Now he'll be able to wear it. My favorite was <laughs> last year. Um, no, maybe it was the year before. I had gifted him a tiny little crocheted sweater that was made out of the same yarn. I did measure a lot. Oh, no, we were just talking about how the, um, this part didn't match. How it didn't line up the front and the back, the cables. We were just talking about that. At a red light, I'll still yell at you. I do think that it's sweet that you're like listening to stream though, while you're driving. James's best friend is in town. So James is driving up to go see him. But when I say in town, I mean where we used to live. <laughs> um. Yelling Burb Notebook is now becoming my work reflection diary. Oh no. I love that for you, that you have a space to write and to get out things that might need to, but I also hate that it's work related. Orange chicken leg, yeah. Yeah, I have a really big helper. Such a good helper. <sighs> Use yours for therapy. That's amazing, too. So I edited the hour-long maniology video I did um, when I first got this kit. And I'll probably be posting it on YouTube on Friday. And I'll be sharing that link with the maniology people. And I'm hoping that I can kind of like grab a little bit from it um, to make like a reel for Instagram to be like, you can watch the whole thing over here or whatever. Um, but I might have to like refilm because I, I shot it in YouTube format, like wide, not Instagram format. So I have to see, I wanted to just like export the YouTube version first and then I'm gonna mess around with it. Like after I've saved the file, I'll make like a copy and uh, all that. So. I would really appreciate when it does go up. I'll I'll tag or I won't tag, but I'll post about it in Discord and like the social media thing. But if y'all could go and like the video and watch it, and even if you don't want to listen or you don't want to watch the whole thing, if you just want to like let it play for like algorithm sake, that'd be super cool so that they can see me like I this is it was good that they are working with me. <sighs> of course, you can use your code, the code that I have at any time and get 10% off. They have, oh, yo. they have some cute holiday stuff. And like wintery things. 
like I I don't need more. I have so much. I don't need more. It opens three tabs. It's off the needles. Heck yes, Saren. Pictures, pictures. Hi, Lulu. Here safely. Hooray. Tell, tell BK, good luck droid. Or no, good luck turret. Good luck turret. Tell him that Megan says good luck turret. Okay. <laughs> Heck, you can show him stream. Teach him how to use his Amazon Prime. <laughs> I know you're such a good helper. She's watching what I'm doing. So this best friend of James's, I play Star Wars Battlefront with. And we like voice chat and hang out. He's good people. Ad soon? Dang. How did that happen? All right. Time flies when you're having fun. Or sewing buttons, whichever. Alright. Well then, we'll have a stretch break here in just a moment. There's five buttons. We've done two. The others are under the cat, so um, I'll see if I can't convince her to just you know, like, hey, look, look, <gasps> do you want to go in a cave of sweater coziness? You know, how has it been an hour? I have no idea. Working on one of my patterns, which one? That's so cool. my clean leggings and then the floor oh rip hi the snow owl fun there we go i have to like be careful as i'm pulling this through to not jab the cat with my Sewing needle. Make an owl in the same yarn as the pepper puppy. It will be so cute. I agree. I concur. All right, well, I guess since it's stretch break time, we shall take a stretch. A perfect time for you to get a drink or a snack or use the bathroom. Go take some meds if you've forgotten to take them. Move your laundry, because <laughs> is it still sitting where it's, you know, not meant to, James? <laughs> um, anyway. 
Um, be back in just a few moments. If you get an ad, don't worry, you won't miss won't be missing out on anything because we are going to play some words on stream. Whoosh. Be right back.
Okay. Last few seconds of ads wrapping up. I'll have you know, she was very unhappy with me leaning over her and resting on her so I could reach my keyboard. So she got up in a huff. So I'm trying to be like, you can settle down here. That's a good spot. No, you can't go back up there. Okay, but since you got up, how dare, I know, such a brat. It's a square, it is. A very beautiful one. I love how the, the color pooling looks on there. And then, is there going to be like a love like a lovey head in the same car like color yarn at least i can reach now yeah if i can get her just to lay down really pretty colors but i'm done with it oh uh-oh was the yarn not nice to work with or is it like Maple still in his heated house. The act of knitting was really tough for you. Gotcha. Knitting takes a while. It really does. No, ma'am. <laughs> Figure it out towards the end, yeah kept locking up because I was bracing and holding it weird. Oh, there's a girl. Good job. Good job, honey. Proud of you. I'll just stick with crochet. I've accomplished my goals with those skeins and now I can say I've done it and never again. That's fair. We love we love trying new things, accomplishing goals, and then also being like, mm, not for me. That's fair, valid, and totally acceptable. I just love this sweater, mom. I know, I know. The sweater loves you too. And as soon as the buttons are on, That's pretty cozy though there, huh? You're realizing that that's your knitted or your crocheted blanket. She's like, wait a minute. Hang on, maybe this isn't so bad. Snuggly mama lap, cozy crochet blanket. Going to Sapphire, she can make a sock fit or something. Oh, the fluffy cat's back. You're just licking your ball, baby. Okay. Fluffy Cat's a ham, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. Y'all. So I kind of took a frustrated from TikTok break because the algorithm was being really bad. And so I just, I focused instead on editing the maniology video and I haven't really worked on any um, of the cat TikToks. So I need to. But can I just, can I show you what happened last night? I have done loom knitting, yes. I have. Who's so beautiful? Yes, always. So James realized that he forgot to take out the garbage cans. Like we took the garbage out and then didn't wheel the cans around to the front. So he asked if I could 
And so I was like, of course. Well, the garbage cans are around back and so is Fluffy, right? Why do I have location services on right now? I don't have anything open that should be using my location. Amazon? There we go. Um, so I went out back and Fluffy Cat was there. And I bent down and I was like, you know, hi, honey. Hey, buddy. I love this cat so much. And then, then they were like, I tried to put like the flashlight on and as soon as I put the flashlight on, they were like, no, they were like, no, no, thank you. That is the hope, Brie. Yeah. That is definitely the hope. Cause neither one of our cats has ever been really angry by fluffy cat being outside. So, like, Maple and Artemis both were really agitated when Gandalf was outside. And I know that he wasn't neutered and all of that, but um, that that is kind of the hope, is that they can all get along and be together. Um, but just the fact, like, cause they don't ever get food over there. Like, they have never once gotten fed where I was, so the fact that they just came running over to me just because, like, it was me and my voice, and I was like, I could explode. I'm so touched by this sweet little baby. Sweet little angel baby. Um, and then, then it was really cute because I went back to their door and they were like oh okay we're back here and I've been working with them on coming inside this was really exciting this was a first last night I put some food down so they came in That was their first time eating squeeze treat in the kitchen with me. Every time I moved though, at first, they were like, ah, why? Um. But they got better about it. I'm like, I have to move a little bit. Like, you'll understand that it's just to get more. I got lots of lems on my hand too. Hold on, let me. Oh no, that's already. And then Maple's like crying in the background. So dainty. They have such a big tongue. Like Artie's got the littlest tongue. Look at look at that tail up. Look at how confident and happy and oh, wait. They're like, wait, there's more. Oh. Quick bath. <laughs> I love when cats do that. They're like, oh hold on, wait. Okay, I'm done now. so much so much two buttons getting so good at that domestic kitty stuff yeah been working on getting them used to hearing indoor sounds too 
um, like they've heard the dishwasher, they've heard the um, the sink on, they've heard the microwave on, but like all of those things, just like how Maple was, they're still very jumpy about. Um, and so I know that that comes in time and that's why it's just like Maple where it's like they're not ready to come in. You know, I'm, I'm thankful that they have a heated house. And, you know, I mean, who knows? Maybe by the new year, just like Maple, they'll... I don't know. We are joking, though, that if Gandalf's still here for Thanksgiving, someone's going home with a cat when they come to our house. <laughs> oh, and Fluffy's back. Gandalf is listed in a couple of places now as being adoptable, and he's had a few hits. People like checking out his page. The one thing I said, BRB driving to your house. Um, I'll I'll send you my address. Come on over. I'll do it. I also love fluffy cats so much and I'm so proud of them. Thank you for coming to supper. Here's your party favor. Yeah. So my in-laws, I love them. I need, to, I need to say this before I say anything else because I don't, let, let, let me ask you all a question. Okay. Let me ask you guys a question. Curiosity here. If you go to someone else's house, Okay, family. It doesn't necessarily have to be like, you know, parent, like family member, okay? For Christmas, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, Easter, some kind of holiday meal, okay? Would you ask the host to take leftovers home? Ma'am. Yeah, absolutely. We can, we can paint nails and we can have, stop, Artemis, stop. We can have like a party. Yeah, it'd be great. I'm here for it. Artemis, honey, stop. I was asking if you would ask the host to take leftovers home. It's, I'm not saying if the host asks you, okay? Like, it's one thing if the host is like, we have so much food, please take some. 100%. You know? Like, yeah, okay, I'll take some with me, of course. Like, if you ask. But, like, um, never, I only take if they're insistent, yeah. There are a lot of leftovers. My brother-in-law usually took it for work. Yeah. I had my mother-in-law ask for leftovers, then took more after I already made her up some, even though she knew I wanted to. Tenley? Henley, do we have the same mother-in-law? We have... We have anywhere from like 10 to 14 people for Thanksgiving. We don't have a lot of leftovers. We like our leftovers because we like, you know, like whole hosting Thanksgiving is a lot. And so it's nice to have leftovers for like the next couple of days. Um, but like my mother-in-law will bring Tupperware to our house and ask to take the left, to take food back with them. And then if we give them some and they want more, same thing where it's like, no, no, can I have a little more of that? Um, but not like forcibly, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't because I'm awkward, but when offered by the host, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm asking for leftovers. Depends on how many leftovers are left. That's fair. There's only enough for a meal or two. No, I leave that for my parents. Yeah. If they're asking, absolutely. If someone's asking or they're like, oh my gosh, I have so much. I don't know what I'm going to do. And every family situation is different. I completely understand that. It's just so weird for me. I've never, 
And they, but here's the thing too, they'll do it in front of our other guests. Like they'll do it, they'll do it in front of other, like no one else is asking to take food home with them and they're just like pulling out Tupperware. <laughs> Cooks extra for leftovers. That's fair, but here's the thing. We, yeah, it's awkward. We make the turkey and other guests bring food because honestly we deep fry our turkey and that's really freaking expensive because you have to buy a bunch of oil to like deep fry it in and then you have to still get the turkey like it ends up costing us a couple hundred dollars like to do the whole thing so like if there if there's leftovers like if there's some sweet potato left over <laughs> like I'm not I, I don't know I don't know it's just thanks for yeah and that's true too like some people I guess it's like if it's an established thing like I don't some people don't like leftovers and they're like no take them it's just like then one year one year um I don't know why why she was in my pantry but she was and she saw that I had gummy bears and asked if she could have the bag Like a, a big bag of Haribo and wouldn't let it go until James is like, fine, just take it. The items that I bring. Sure. Yeah. Take back what you brought. That's fine. Take back your containers, all that other stuff. Like, uh, return Tupperware lent to me. Yeah. Otherwise I'd never, yeah. Mm-hmm. I love, like I said, I love them. They are such sweet, kind people. But I just realized I had therapy today and it wasn't until at the end when she was like, so I'm off next week. We'll meet up again in the week. I'm like, oh my God, next week is Thanksgiving. <laughs> like I have to, I have to figure out all the things. <laughs> like, We'll have like decorations out too and like make comments about how much she loves the decorations and like if she, if I'm not careful she's gonna take them and like can you, can I have this? It's just uncom- like I don't know what to do. It snuck up. It was just Halloween. I still have Halloween candy by my door. Y'all, I don't, I don't know how it's Thanksgiving. What the hell? So. It still feels like September. It's early this year. Yeah. I don't know. She was, there was a comment about how much she loved a picture hanging on my wall. And if I ever wanted to get rid of it to let her know. Like this isn't home goods, we're not shopping. <laughs> I shouldn't like talk about stuff like this. <laughs> Cause it's the internet and the internet's forever. Families are wild. Yep. Agreed. This 
isn't Walmart. It's just so wild to me, like, definitely not like casting judgment or anything because again, everyone's situation is different. Everyone's family is different. Every thing is different. It was, it's just like the other people in the household when that happened the first time were like, New Psych accepted your case. See them in a couple of weeks. Heck yes. I, I hate that you had to go through that too, Brie. Like, I hate that I had to go through it, but like, why on earth is this like such a problem that it's happened to two people in like the same community? Do you know what I mean? Like, we're a bigger community, but we're not like huge. By the way, the little, there's a little poof above the bee's wing down here, right? That little poof all the way on the side is Fluffy Cat's tail. They're like sitting up against the railing. <laughs> we're all struggling with family issues, but it's so comforting to be reminded that we're not alone, yeah. I think it also depends too on like, just, I guess, not necessarily like how you were raised, but like what you've grown to expect or like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to like to describe it. But like everybody's got like a different family situation <laughs> I guess is a good way to put it none of them are perfect that's for sure like I'm not gonna pretend that any of the anyone is flawless <laughs> Fluff Cash is hanging yeah Oh, cool. Is it a different practice? I know that you were talking about finding a different one after the drama and trauma of the last one. Three buttons. Ah, ah, ah. It's different. Cool. They specialize in online. Love that. By the way, we're at a full week and a half. Polish is starting to like <laughs> look worse for the wear, but still not terrible considering that I've been washing my hands like 20 extra times a day. Um, 
And I haven't put like another top coat on. My nails are actually kind of getting to the point where like I want to cut them. Because <laughs> like they feel a little bit long. So. Like you're just, yeah. Well, I hope that it ends up being like an even better practice for you than the one that you were at, you know? Like I hope that all of this headache and heartache and just anger and like all those feel, like I hope that it just, it ends up being so much better, you know? It really isn't an ideal, yeah. Crochet moat buddies make the best therapy buddies for fidgeting with or just having. Oh, That's very sweet. I'm glad. Like, I'm honored. I'm honored to know that they're like a part of anything, you know? And there goes Fluffy. One more button, one more button. Yay.
then we shall cross stitch. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is actually interesting, this thread. Like I had James pick up, I was like, look for something that matches the, uh, the buttons. And he sent me a photo of this because they didn't have like the one that I originally was thinking of. And he was like, would this work? And I was like, yeah, it's buttons and craft. Like it's a Coates and Clark, but I was, I've never heard of like a button thread. It's a little bit thicker than traditional thread, which I like because, you know, it doesn't feel like something that you could snap. You know how like, you could like wrap your th wrap thread around your finger and like break it sometimes. It doesn't feel like it would be possible to do that. <laughs> I can't believe that he came in here asking about buttons. <sighs> what a butt. <laughs> Called and it'll be an account credit. Nice. Annoying, but yay. <laughs> Hooray for getting stuff solved. For getting answers. We're finishing projects. Heck yeah. Look at all of us. Saren finishing hers. Me finishing this. Like finishing finishing and I won't ever have to work on this ever again. Or is you out working with such thick yarn? Yeah, definitely make sure that you stretch a lot with Ami, with uh, blanket yarn and Ami making. It can, uh, it's a workout using that yarn. 
Actually, just using blanket yarn in general, make sure that you're stretching a lot. Uh-oh. Proud of all the finishes, yeah. Finishers in chat, right? Get some more of this mermaid cross stitch done. Two. I'm excited. Come on. No, don't split thread. Come on. It's always the last one. It's always when you're like almost done that it, everything just stops cooperating. <laughs> Why must you hurt me so? Y'all, 445, November 15th, 2023. This gosh darn cardigan is done. It's official. <sighs> I'm gonna move my chair this time instead of trying to do it switch this camera off for a moment so I can move it and not make everything move besides just the camera. <laughs>
I also, since I worked on this on stream last, have given all of the little critters their eyeballs. It's one of those things that, like, because you, oops, you have to, like, start and stop the thread a lot that I, I don't necessarily like doing on stream just because it's a lot of, like, flipping back and forth. Well, I guess there's one left. But all the turtles and these guys and the, the little otter, they're all, they can all see now. We love, we love to see it. I'm sorry, I'll leave. All right. Thread. I wasn't here for the otter, so cute. I have another one that'll go right here, which is, I guess, why I put that. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Oof. Okay. No, you don't have to move. I just had to shift a little bit. There you go. You're fine. You can stay right where you are. Sorry. I just had to shift my leg because it was numb. I'm not leaving. Okay. Um, let's do a little, little bubbles. long, but okay. <laughs> There's a little kitty ear on my hand. Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Under the Sea. I should have a link somewhere. Hold on. I have so many windows open. She says no one in shock. Absolutely no one. not saved in my okay. everyone hydrate does. Especially the sea otter. Yeah, no, it absolutely does. With his little shell. His little scallop.
I have bookmarked that website. I love it. Lots of cute things. Hi. <laughs> My hand just got booped. Are you watching what I'm doing? That's fine. Just don't attack it, okay? She's like, I make no promises, mother. I didn't ask yet, but what's everybody else working on today? Anyone working on any projects? I know Theron just had a finish. I just had finish. Well, hello again, beautiful fluffy cat. Seems like the cameras have a bit of a struggle at the beginning. And then they seem to be doing okay. I'm sure I just jinxed that, but that's okay. Almost done. Struggling to focus today. I hear you. I'm getting gas, but mostly loving Fluffy Cat. <laughs> Me too. The loving Fluffy Cat part, though. Look at his little bubble. Pulled from yesterday, probably. It's going great until a situation that happened at noon, which tanked the focus and productivity. Ugh. I'm sorry, that sucks. I'm glad that, that it's going better. Even if you're struggling to focus. I hope that tomorrow will be better. Look at that sweet little loaf.
take that snoozy corner. Come solely for babies. Oh, good things are gonna happen. Lots of people awareness of feelings and situations. Nervous about tomorrow, it's back in the office after work from home day. Oh, I see. Well, just know that we are always with you. We're just, we're in your pocket. We're your pocket friends. Or if your phone is kept somewhere besides a pocket, we're there. Um, but we're never really far. So, if you ever need us, you can find us in your pocket. this week grateful for it crochet friends have helped a ton too good I'm glad Add soon. You're right. Somehow. I don't know how. Time flies when you're sewing buttons, I guess. <laughs> also, welcome back. Oh, dang, it's five? Yeah. It sure is. I leave right before ads. I get right back before ads. You just really like words on stream. That's okay. Oh. I didn't grab that. Let's see. Okay, we have a minute before we have some ads and we take a stretch. We will go ahead and do that here. And then when ads are done, we'll come back and cross stitch some more. Um, we will play some words on stream while ads are rolling so you don't have to worry about missing out on anything. Oops. Oh, Allison, I just, I just saw your message, like your whisper. That shouldn't, that shouldn't have been blocked for any reason. And Automod didn't even like catch it for me to approve or not.
Twitch. Sure is an interesting place. I don't know why it didn't either. <laughs> Random. All right. Let's go ahead and play a round of words. Take a stretch, get a drink or a snack, use the bathroom, take your meds, move your laundry, and I will be back in just a few minutes. Whoosh.
found my people. James is printing um, curling stone because um, he, he makes like little trophies to give out um, for like the end of his curling like whenever they have like a league there's the word so he has to make the top still he was 
printing and that is how much he had left over. Like, just made it. <laughs> just, just snuck it in there. Yeah, hi Susan. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, he's printing curling stones. Oh, Bree, let me refund you. He's not home right now. Hang on. Sorry, I forget that, like, I should turn it off when he's not there. Oops. Um, I always forget that. Which is bad, I should try and remember. <laughs> About my comments that didn't go through. In parentheses, it was because James are in the bottom. Yeah. It was so weird. I don't know why it didn't go through. And it didn't, um, like, I didn't see it. Like, I didn't have to approve any, or, like, disprove anything. Do you know what I mean? You were counting things. No, where is this? I never remember where this is. Mod view. Manage reward requests. Oh, look at that fluffy baby. Look at that fluffy baby. Refund points. There you go. Next time. Yeah, he's visiting his, like, they've been best friends since, like, kindergarten. Um, and he lives in Florida, usually, and he came back up to visit. Um, so James went to go and visit. James just messaged me a popo. He's one. Oh my god. More pictures slash video, please. He's on a new pop. His name's Django. What a handsome fella. What a handsome old guy. James knows me. Gotta, gotta pay the puppy tax, you know? Susan, your Imkin's going out tomorrow. FYI. Yay. Oh, you just got a whisper from a totally real company? What do they want to do? Do they want to send you millions of dollars?
There have been so many like trolls lately. Just out and about. They want to give you a value card. Sounds legit. I'm sure it's not a scam. I mean, they probably only need a few, you know, easy pieces of information. Contact you yesterday, oh boy. stitches are off. I'm off by one little square. I'm working on like a fabric that I have to stitch over to. And that means that I was like, I split where I needed to be. So let's just undo what we did. Joy of joys. Yes. Look at that beautiful baby. Taking a bath. Can't figure out what to make. That's the worst. Is when you like want to make something and you're like, I don't know what. I need to figure out a few things still. So I, I feel that. Yep, I did mess up. Apron, that's a cute idea. Oh, speaking of sewing, so we raided Quill Tony yesterday, right? Tony is just a lovely, lovely human, does a lot of different fundraising and things like that, and is an amazing quilter. Well, she asked, if I would be interested in streaming in December for St. Jude as a member of her team. And it's quite an interesting, it's like all crafters, which we love. But it's also, I guess, in partnership a little bit with Joanne Fabrics. Um, so the kids of St. Jude do a lot of artwork and they turn that artwork into all sorts of different things, including fabric. Including fabric. Thank you for that follow. Welcome in. Um, and so they're, they're taking some of the kids artwork and putting it on fabric and us crafters like the challenge I guess is to make something inspired by the piece of fabric that we get so we're well like signing up we're gonna get fabric we get to like request how much um and then we get, we get to like make something so I'll be streaming for like three hours 
uh, a little bit early so it'll be like I think from two to five like we're gonna be doing a raid train kind of like how we do for crafty day in um, and I don't know I don't know what the fabric is yet so I don't know like what the inspiration is going to be but Tony also does this race it's a quilt race two to five p.m. yeah um and like everybody has like um they're called a jet they're a jelly roll right and <clears throat> it's like a whole bunch of strips of fabric and you have to like sew it together and everyone's like live at the same time and it's like a race to see who can finish I can sew I have a sewing machine should I join I haven't I haven't fully decided yet Because, like, I have to figure out a setup, and I'm nervous because I've never done anything like that. But, like, Tony was like, you could totally do it. Like, evidently, she gets, like, if you donate on her stream, like, it, it causes a handicap for her. So, like, she was saying, I guess, one of them is, like, she has to use her chin on the pedal instead of her foot. So like things to slow her down and like if you finish you get like a coupon for like her her store or something like like I'm not about that but like I I don't know she says it's like a two to a two to five hour stream and I'm like I've never I've never really sewn on never sewn like a whole um no worries Bree see you later so maybe I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe silly, but I'm making soup and cheesy bread tonight and I'm excited. Hell yeah, I'm excited for you. I want soup and cheesy bread. Winter. Um, Emily, they make like clip on ones. They just have one they weren't selling anything. Um, okay. Do my best to make it. Yeah, no worries. And like, I'll probably end up streaming for like more than just one day for St. Jude. Um, like maybe we'll do it for like a week or something and like that day will be like the special day do you know what I mean and then maybe maybe I'll make it if I if we raise a certain amount of money I'll join the race that could be that could be a fun incentive I think that like the race is on a Friday or something so if we do like a week or whatever then you can all watch me flounder and suffer <laughs> Let me double check the uh, calendar. Oh, it might be a Saturday, actually, that the quilt race is. It's either Friday or Saturday. Um, hold on.
Oh, okay. Um, sorry, I went over to look in the Discord to double check the date, and I there was like a few things I missed, and I was like, ah, wait. But nothing. Nothing super pressing. Um, date planning. Pinned messages. So I will be Thursday the 14th is when I'm streaming. Oh, just kidding. It's from 3 to 5 p.m. So 3 to 5 p.m. is me. On the 14th. So it'll start at the same time. We'll just end a little early and we'll raid into someone else. Um, and then the sewing race is Saturday and it starts at two. So yeah. Heading out, gonna brave a rainy evening at the parks. No worries. Have a good time. I'm excited. So my my stream will be the 14th. And then the sewing race is Saturday the 16th. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for keeping me company today. Have a safe drive home. Okay, I'm in the right spot now. It's like let me let me double check that before I make a mistake again. That's like extra confusing because the stitch that I needed to make was like in between the ones that I did before. So I keep like almost going into the wrong hole again because that one is like already had a stitch in it before, before I frogged it. Thing will be delivered on the 20th. Nice. I'm excited. Would you like me to open it on stream when it comes, by the way? Oop, BRB, no worries. Well, whatever, if you want me to. Like, if you prefer that we don't, that's okay too. Whichever. Nothing too exciting in there. That's not how time zones work. Time zones are silly, okay? Time zones are silly. 
fluffy cat has planted themselves. What a blessed stream. Truly a blessed stream. We are be for real, no worries. I had bad timing to ask a question. <laughs> Susan was like, BRB, and I'm like, wait, what is, I asked a question as I read BRB. Show sweater quick, please. But then I'll really spoil any surprise. I can show the back, how about that? Sweater back. He does want to show it off. <laughs> I love that he's like talking about it. That's sweet. You get you get a the gold star. Hold on here. I'll fix the uh, the collar too. Ooh. Ah. So fancy. <laughs> Thanks, Dusk. It's taken me it's forever, like actually forever, to make it. James, look at Fluffy Cat. Look at them in the little flower pot. Hey James, do, do any of BK's family want a cat? <laughs> anyone, um, anyone want a cat? I happen to have one. <laughs> Sad laugh. Listen. I love, I love Gandalf. I really do. I give him smoochies and tell him what a good boy he is and how much I love him, but like. I'm tired. Gotta go love you lots. Okay. I <laughs> love you too. Didn't answer the question about the cat. <laughs> Not me stitching in the wrong spot again. Goodness gracious, what is wrong with me today? Evidently, I should not cross stitch today. I don't know. It's just mistake city there we go unsolicited cat pics
I love when they lie in the pot like that. Yeah, we were talking about the uh, the sweater pattern earlier. It was like a Vogue one, I guess from one of their magazines or something. And it was just like a nightmare. It was only the whole sweater, all of it, all the instructions were one page, like one eight by 11 printed piece of paper. That's it. Instructions very unclear, you know? <laughs> Emily, I think that you missed it earlier, but I was joking that if Gandalf's still here um, on Thanksgiving, that someone's going home with like a cat. Come for the food! go home with a cat like Can't read between the lines, what? We don't know. Your folks do? Oh, of the one page pattern. Got it, got it. Is that what I needed? I'll get a magnifying glass, read in between the lines. Maybe that was my problem. <laughs> And you were your crown to dinner! Oh, I had a cat collar in one and that person has to take Gandalf <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, like hide a name tag, right? So it's not a choking hazard. Like in a piece of, of pie or something. Someone's gonna get a very special slice of pie. Either that or just like open the door and like whoever he goes up to and like wants attention from the most, there you go. 
The end. Congratulations. The cat chose you. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Come back next year. I don't know what we'll have, but it probably won't be. It won't be this. Next year, Dalmatian. Like, I love my dog. I do, but he's a turd. <laughs> Like, I love him so much. Like, last night I was feeling, I, I just, I wanted, you know, a, some puppy snuggles. So I went ahead and I spread a blanket out on top of our bed to be like, come on up. You're allowed to because, like, the special blanket's on the bed. I normally don't care if my pets are on furniture, but case in point, Patch jumps up and he ended up like, I can show you all, he ended up like repositioning himself. And I was like, sir, that's, that's not where you're meant to be. Like you can't, you can't be on the pillows. Like you're meant to be down here. So I called him over to be like, you know, come back to your spot. And he was like, Urgh. And I'm like, well, then get off the bed if you're going to be grumbly about it. Like, here I was trying to be like, here, let's have like a cheeky little cuddle and it'll be so sweet. And he had to go and ruin it. <laughs> no snuggles for you. Like, the weirdest things he's like, no, you can't. I'm protective over. Like, pieces of paper. Like, if he grabs a piece of paper and you, like, go to take it, he'll be like, Rrr, and you're like, but it's, it's not. I mean, he doesn't just, like, go for paper, but it's. Like the, you know, the crinkly, like the brown paper that's in, you know, chewy boxes and stuff like that. He'll be like, mine, if it's left in the open box. <laughs> or like, tissues. My God, he loves snotty tissues. Like, heaven forbid you should just toss a tissue towards a garbage can. Like, say you're not feeling well, you're lying in bed. You go to, like, toss your tissue in the can and it misses. He's like, yes. My time has come. So all the random things.
Of course I would pull up the tail that I just wove in. But like, I was like, I don't need to cut that. It's so little. Lol. Five fifty already, how? Look at that sweet baby fluffy. I'm like thinking of all the things that I have to do. I love that. The worst though, I don't know if anyone else is like this. You'll be like, oh yeah, I gotta do all these things. And like, if you don't write it down, you forget like all of them. Or as soon as you go to like write stuff down, half of them are just like, bye, and yeet out of your brain forever. Or until, you know, like 2 a.m. when you're lying in bed and you're like, shoot. Yep. other little otter space. that's where we're gonna call it for today's stream it's art lesson day oh no sending you good vibes my neighbor has his lawnmower making sounds at this hour um would you guys like me to go feed Fluffy Cat again on camera before we wrap up? I found my people. Thanks for that follow. Welcome in. 
Yes, yes, please. Fine, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's Mapes up there. See him moving around on top of the cat tree? He'll probably end up hopping down as soon as I open the back door. Okay. Um, we're gonna skip the raid after this, just as an FYI to my mods. So. Um. If I could find the chat, there we go. There we go. We need that. Let's turn on the sound to camera and I shall go and feed fluffy baby okay oh and let me snooze ads too so no one no one gets stuck in an ad while watching precious baby fluffy cat cat where are you where are you I'm sorry Do, 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 do. Of course, thank you all so much for hanging out. Um, I appreciate it. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your time zone. I, it is feeding time. I'll be right back. Okay. I know, I'm trying to sit in here, huh?
Hello. Big stretch. <laughs> yeah. Said, I am ready for the numbs. I should have moved the bowl back a little bit. Oh, yes. Hi, Clara. Welcome in. Yes, they get fluffy cat spoiled. They get breakfast. They get dinner. They get wet food at night. And then for whatever for whatever reason, they end up like coming back out of their little heated house um, when we like take patch out for the last time and turn off all the lights and they come and they sit on the back step. So they also get a little midnight snack. <laughs> Cause we both are like, like how do you, see Maple's gone. But like, how do you say no to this? How do you say no to that? They just come and they sit and they're like, excuse me, excuse me, this is at one in the morning, excuse me, I would like a midnight snacky, I'm trying to see, I have like so many, uh, Midnight snacks hit <laughs> different. Yeah, they come out of their little heated house and they're like, hi, um, I know that you're getting ready for bed, but have you considered, have you considered instead giving me a midnight snack? And I'm like, listen, I understand. Yeah, they just sit there and they look so cute and you go over and you're like, hi, and they're like, meow. And you're like, well, all right. I mean, of course. Of course I'm going to just like love on you and do what you want and I love them so so much they're so cute and I love them very much okay um spoil them with all the treats yeah well and that's the other thing too is that so I've been practicing with them getting used to coming inside the house and hearing sounds and smelling things and all of that. So then they get like squeeze treat as well. As they get used to all the things and being brave. Look at that gentle baby. Oh, I love them so much. They're so soft too. Like they've shed a lot of that like fall coat and now they have like a real thick winter coat coming in and I'm like, <sighs> I love them so much too. It's unreal. Let me, I'll turn that off. Oh, I forgot to put the music sounds back on. Sorry. Instead, it's just been fluffy cat chomping. I don't even know where the music went. It's fine. Um... You know what, let me see who's on. We can go raid. Maybe I don't know who's on. I haven't been paying attention. Oh, you like you like the fluffy cat chomps? Okay. Um oh, you know what? We like animals. Let's go see the San Diego Zoo. That's where we're gonna raid. That's where we're going to raid. Let's go see the animals at the zoo. I did. You know why? Because my brain was saying really mean things to me and I didn't I didn't want to see the raid number. Um but you know what? Let's go see the animals. We're going to go see the animals. <laughs> um I'm just not going to pay any attention to when we raid, you know? So I'm gonna do my best to try and ignore that. Anywho, let's roll some credits. Thank you all for being here today. 
I appreciate you. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your time zone. Remember, friends, to eat something tasty, to drink some water, take any meds you have to take, be kind to yourself, be kind to other people. Remember, you are loved, and I will see you all tomorrow. Um, I think we're going to crochet tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for hanging out till the very end. Um, I love you all. Okay. Bye.